Hello everyone, today is going to be another nail video. You can see my nails at the start of the video I had removed my false extensions because the previous set did last. Still, I had to remove them earlier that day, they were on for three and a half weeks. I'm starting by prepping the nail, so I'm going in with Keys Call Remover and pushing back that dead skin and removing it before very carefully removing my goose calls. All of this just makes the false nails adhere so much better. When I don't do this, they will come off in like a week. And when I do, like I said, they will last like three to five weeks. And after that, I'm just going to size up my false nail extensions. They should go side wall to side wall to make sure that they really fit. Then I'm going to etch the inside of the nails with a nail drill. And you can use primer, but personally I just massively prefer the drill. I think that they last a lot longer and just like etch better, if that makes sense. So on the bigger nails, like my thumb and my middle finger, I'm going to use a sanding band and then I'm just going to sort of downgrade to a smaller bit with the littler nails. before lightly buffing my natural nails. This removes all of the oil and dirt and stuff that are on your nails and just it roughens them up slightly so that everything just adheres way better. So after this I'm going to prep my nails for the actual gel. I'm going to go in with dehydrator and primer and they do just get rid of all of the oils even more like I just said. The hydrator just removes any oils that are on your nails because cuticle oil and just your hands naturally produce oil throughout the day. The dehydrator removes all of this and the primer then just sort of gets the nails ready to take the gel. And before applying the extensions, I do a gel overlay. I just apply a thin layer of Beatles glue on all of my natural nails. Uh, before putting on the false nails and this protects my nails and makes them so much stronger this has allowed my nails to grow like I had no nails because I'm a chronic nail biter and my nails underneath the extensions now are so so long because I started doing this step after curing that for 30 seconds it's time to apply the nail tips so I apply a thin layer of the glue the same beetles glue to the inside of my extension and sort of glob off a bit more in the center I try and push that toward the apex of the nail because that's where you really need it to be strong but personally I have issues with them lifting at the sides so I just make sure as well to really make sure that there is enough glue at the side of my nail to sort of fix that problem. I start pressing the nail at the bottom of my nail to off the cuticle then slowly sort of bring it up before flash curing it. I try to leave a small gap between my cuticle and the false extension because if I don't this next step will probably cut my cuticles because now I mean a lot of people use a drill I still find that a nail file is easier for this but I try and like blend the end of the extension with my natural nail. I don't really know how to explain this except that I just sort of file it down to blend it and you'll see what I mean. If I need to shape the nails at this point I will also shape them and remove the excess length because I, I do not want dead long nails. With my job I cannot have long nails so I normally have to cut them down. So I'm now using base coat foundation layer and I do like the Beatles one. It is quite cheap from Amazon, but it works really well. And then after curing that for 30 seconds, I'm just going to start applying my design. Basically, I'm going to go for a background pinky brownie nude naturally nail color. I feel like you know what color I mean. You're going to see anyway. Um, I started applying this, I used two coats to make sure it's opaque before just going in with some French tips and I decided to just do some cutesy blue, pale blue French tips because it's spring and I feel like pastels are a very spring vibe so I just went in with this and I'm just gonna basically let you watch now. I will just say that for French tips, I used to struggle so, so much to do them. I still do slightly. It still takes me longer than I would like. But this little method that I use has helped me so much to get better and quicker at French tips and to make them a lot neater. I just draw out a line 
of like how long I want the French tip to be in the center of my nail and I very much just try and connect lines like slightly curved connected lines and then I go in and just neaten it up with a nail brush that's it I don't know if that makes sense but you can see what I'm doing after all the paint is applied I am going to cure them for 60 seconds before removing that sticky top coat with rubbing alcohol and then going in with cuticle oil because you know you've got to protect your cuticles they've just been through it when you do your nails so i just go in with all of the you know the after portion the oils and the rubbing alcohol and stuff and yeah look how cute they look i am so happy this has got to be my neatest french tip set i have ever done i really love these nails Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!